Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog 32 aka Jim Dover Dolphin Fan. We're back playing some more Watch Dogs Legion. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Last we left off, um, we were actually going to head to the Clan of Kelly base, so that's where we are right now. Uh, just to say this outright, it is early in the morning, so if you hear any weird noises, it might be people or things. I, I like that it's like been raining for a good minute for us, because um, you get Security that thing where... It's like 7 in the morning, but it's more like 5 still. The recording device is in a security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the hell? She's using these people as house servants against their will. That'd be cool if you could recruit them. I was like, that'd be actually kind of dope. It's worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. All right. Uh... No! Right. Shit. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Do you piss everyone off the way you're pissing me off, you wanker? <laughs> Come on now. Stupid git. Thank God. Okay. I'll just show you this. I accidentally hack a camera. Oh God, seeing through the world. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, no, is this a dead end? Really? Oh no, you can go down. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, how the fuck? There's a whole tech point here too. That's it. Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. You can I collect that? Nope. Okay. We actually did get some more tech upgrades too. I, I went around collecting a few off screen. So hopefully, you know just look at this place. Hopefully we'll be able to get some this good ones from uh, the main money. The, the main like missions and stuff. Misery for a long time. She's do we have uh two more her. zones to liberate, so, so we'll before. have that done pretty that soon. You ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator. We needed something incriminating. So we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC. And the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation. My team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. Oh, the woman well, is well, that a works. You're lucky you didn't get chipped. They'd make <laughs> them kill me if they try to cuff me like that. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. Well, so Aiden, you are kind of wildin' out here. You do tend to disregard your own human life. To just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. Oh, do you now? Honoring your dead friends who don't really get a say on how the fuck they're honored. I always thought that was weird, because I get it. Like, you're trying to respect that person's wishes. But at the same time, they're dead. You're respecting your own wishes. They don't get a say. To be honest, they really don't get a say on how you do anything. Because they are literally gone. Forever. And it's something you gotta kinda accept. Like, all your choices are made for you and you alone. Boom. Nice. Nice. Leads over here. Open that up. Yes, sir. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's go this way because this way was the more, the more red spots. Good, 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 good. Up oh, some red right here. And flip it. Yay, there we go. Nice. You get a good look at this place later, too. God, hopefully we'll be able to recruit some people from here. We still haven't got any good Clan Kelly people on this on the squad yet. Oh, cool. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I want some good Clan Kelly people on the squad. I really do. Did get that one Albion contractor, though, uh, not too long ago. Yeah. It's always weird when I have this headset on, though, because I, um, like, occasionally cut my hair, and, like, <laughs> like it just with no hair makes this headset feel big. <laughs> oh, look at 
for yourself after everything I've done for you. God, you should cut her ear off. You make me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. I take this thing out and live to your old life. That's enough, in. Right to you. Two Look at this asshole. Blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the doll. You don't want that, lad. This microchip is scary, I know, but I got to keep tracks on my merchandise, haven't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You can't exactly kill her, can you? I can't live like this anymore. No. You are all right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I... Because if you cut her legs off, then it's kind of like, you know... I mean, I guess you could sell her legs. But it's kind of it. How are you gonna complain about your bottom line and kill her anyway? It doesn't make any sense. Ooh, pay attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors. So I, I would be hard pressed not to point out that this is kind of one of the main plot points of Watch Dogs One with the big like human trafficking thing. That's why I'm gonna have Aiden take on the Clan Kelly members. Um, but it is like kind of overtly obvious that that is what this is. I guess because you had Lucky Quinn and um, Iraq that was um the leaders of that and uh i guess she's more charismatic than iraq this is insane iraq was kind of generic and bedbug which was his cousin was like kind of the comic relief of that so he kind of gave him more character but definitely an ingenious one perfect psych profile for a group like zero day wouldn't you say her affiliations aren't my priority bagley she's keeping these people enslaved and it sounds as if she's selling them this is huge so her microchip is the next step in human trafficking. Seems to be the case. Steps out of line and zap. She can still turn a buck selling their organs. Dead sec. We'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all yes, the information sir. we can. I'm good at those. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does, Bagley monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Thanks. Cheers, dead sec. All right, mission complete. Kelly chapter complete. Body snatchers. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters. Zero day. The mystery of zero day. Who are they, and why do they frame DedSec for the bombings? So, what do we have, Bagley? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two needs for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull off. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the laws, this lot seems to be in it <laughs> for the laws. Of society by any means necessary. Sounds like anyone you know. Got a few options, then. I've marked both on your optic. Okay, so uh, I'm actually curious to see. Okay, right, so you got Alvin, Clan Kelly, and Zero Day as the villains, and we haven't found the last one. Which obviously is the 404. I don't know why they didn't just show that, because it's literally the 404. Um, I think for now we're actually going to head to one of the last Liberation missions. Who is this? Um. Uh, I believe that's a lawyer on our team. No, it's this MP5 dude. Yeah. At this point, I really don't have too many characters to be showing off, so I think I'm just gonna show off Mina Suhu. So I think what we'll do is we'll fast travel to this location right here and switch to Mina Suhu. Uh, Cause yeah, it should be fun to show off. She's actually like, like I said, Mina Suhu is funny because she, she's the epitome of middle of the road because I still think the DJ is better than her just because the DJ can outright roll with better perks because what does Mina Suhu have over the DJ? Well, she has the ability to mind control people, which is kind of cool. It's good for stealth scenarios because 
it gives you a stealth capability, but everyone could technically do stealth, you know, you just gotta play stealthier. Um, and she's got... That's kind of it. Oh my god, that, that's kind of it, because even her AoE, I believe her AoE is bigger than the DJ's, but the problem is, it's, you know, it's bigger, but not really. <laughs> Like, like it's slightly bigger, but that wouldn't mean much, especially since she has less range. Uh, she has like you know, uh, not the capability to buffer damage. If she had like some type of ooh, oh long injury time, damn, that's still a decent drop though right there. The recruit on ECO is also weird that's even allowed to spawn online. I would kind of like if they got rid of that. Just because th there's not a real purpose online. Like, you get ETO for, like, literally everything. And, like, it makes sense in the story because there's no restrictions on how many people you can even recruit. You can recruit as many people as you want online, uh, in the story, but online you actually have a specific amount. So it would kind of be like wasting a slot. I guess if you had a free slot just to recruit someone, but for me, I'd rather just build my perfect roster and never tweak it. Hopefully, we'll be able to shove some good Mina Suhu stuff in here, though. Yeah, I think it is kind of a disservice to Mina Suhu that they took away the ability for her to use regular guns. So they go, she's too OP. Which, again, I don't know how she's too OP because her basic kit still doesn't do anything that would make her that way she would just be a dj with regular guns which is super funny to me because you would argue oh well then that's messed up because she's outclassing a whole nother character even though she's a paid character so she should be one of the better ones like aiden or wrench but hey we'll, we'll let it go for this argument the problem with that is that even with the gun usage i don't think she's a better character than the dj Overall, I do not think she is. Right, where is that tech point? It's right here. Hold on, give me one second. I was like looking at it to see if I saw the VIP and I'm like it doesn't look like I see the VIP but I guess it was that person so hey I do think Mina Suhu's design though is like top notch oh hey look at that sick it's had an impact too. This bloke just contacted us about helping him convince the people of this borough to finally rise up. Go meet him. <laughs> it's literally like a dude working out here. Was he just conveniently placed there? Either way. Find the suspect. All right. Yo, Wagwan. You're dead sick, innit? Yeah, I can tell. You got a hard look, yeah. Pick up some. Well, and I have this glowing red hair, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Albion pagans are the reason a lot of these people are out here. So I mean, no jobs, no flat to live in. And worse, Albion's been hoarding supplies. Food, toilet paper, or whatever's meant for shelters and kitchens. They're getting fat off all that. Alright, bless. Dead set can handle this. <laughs> so what are they hoarding? We gotta know before we do this. Oh, allow that, cuz. Is that really her voice? <laughs> I don't I don't remember her sounding like that, because she sounds super Asian, but uh, whatever. May I'm driven because I've never actually used her to talk to people, so maybe she does sound like this normally. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I want to add like if they have a white leather jacket, I kind of want to add it to her because that'd be kind of dope looking. I'm not gonna lie. I find it funny how two of the characters just have white clothes though. Hey, bro, explain this to people why you look like this. No. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm joining. Yeah, I'm trying to be part of y'all's stuff. Right, class, we're in position. You prime? Kick it. Find the power. Albion moves out of the hamlet. Ah, oh, this is the most involved I think I've been in with the one of these. Get attention. Slow down and Albion will come after our artist, class. See what you've got to do to get their attention. Stand up. Alright. Pass through these and drive crazy. Woo! Getaway driver would be perfect for this. <laughs> nice. Oh, Jesus! Oh, holy shit! Hello. Well, that was kind of smooth, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh Jesus, I didn't even do anything, I was just driving. Uh, this ain't a show, I don't know what is. Nice. Alright, one zone left. Look at all the all these tech points, brother, you don't need to get at all. <laughs> wow, I am so gas bum. Oh, that was thrill. I don't even care if my wheels are trash. We got everything. I don't even care if my car sucks. Albion was holding. This is gonna get everyone in the ends on board, you know. That's what it's all about. Not I mean. People coming together to fight back. Doesn't matter if you're in dead tech or not. Like, we're all in this together. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, cuz. Just don't lose my digits, alright? Cheers. Nah, but you're not a good recruit, though. Tower Hamlets is ready to defy You're famous, though. Good for you. Got to be proud of that. Fuck yeah. Oh, I thought he had some better perks on there. Alright, let's see how bad it is. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what they come with. That is literally what they come with. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Yeah, but I I think because yeah, I even showed Darcy off yeah for a video where I didn't actually do anything with her. But well, I guess we did do a little with her. I'm not gonna say we didn't do anything with her. It's uh, well, you know what? We could show off the beekeeper next episode because the beekeeper is kind of super unique. I I like the beekeeper. If you could get a really good like berserk or physically defense beekeeper, it'd be really fucking strong. Uh, yeah, because I think next episode we are just gonna do this last liberation. 
Who's right here? Him. Drets. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll just switch to the beekeeper. The next episode, we'll uh, hop on over to the, um, the next liberation stuff. And that'll be it for liberating. So for then, then on out, just going to be beelining the story. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. It's funny because uh, as of this recording uh, on a different Watch Dogs video, uh, someone asked me, like, you know, are you going to do any more Watch Dogs content? And I totally plan to. Like, the thing is, like, I, I like Watch Dogs as a franchise, and this is one of the better things <laughs> that, uh, that have been on my channel that people have liked. Um, obviously, I mostly do LPs, but there are other videos that I'm working on in the background or I'm going to get a chance to work on. You know, it's all about timing. Uh, I don't want LPs to stop just because I want to do other stuff. And I know I know people will be like, oh, you could just take more time. But it's like I, I, I like doing LPs. That's what I want to do. And all those other videos at the end of the day will come second. So when I have the time to record them, because for the next couple like different videos, as you can call them for me, um, they are going to be quite different. Um, probably by the time you've seen this, they might even be out already, depending on you know how things go but um yeah i really hope uh, those videos do good and even if they don't I, I do this for fun and for my personal enjoyment i don't do it for monetary gains or anything like that it's nice when people i get recognized though you know for people like seeing my videos and stuff but it is what it is at the end of the day it's all for fun you know i've always said it's more of a almost personal journey of my adventure in a game because, like, I, there's always... I play a lot of games. I play a lot of games you don't see, which is even crazier to me. So, I, like, I, I play... A, I just play a lot of games. I, I, and I enjoy so many different types of games. And there's so many things I'd like to LP. But, you know, you don't always get a chance to... Ooh, you gotta go all the way over there? Hold on. I don't even... Do I have to get on the roof? Or do I go from the back here? Well, I mean, this is technically an entrance, too, so we can do this. Another mission location online. It's funny, though, because this is, like, a very easy way to get in there, but a lot of people, actually, when you see them play this mission, don't know about this spot. Super funny. Yeah, they have they have some of the longer animations, which make me chuckle. All right. Well, I'm gonna take out this last dude and then probably cut it there. We're gonna come back from the next one. Uh, we'll be uh, starting off right here and just going to the top to do that mission. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.